Howdy there, folks. Tex the Black Pants Legion here, and we're continuing our game of Battletech. Battletech 3062, actually, which Battletech Advance 3062, full name of the mod. Description contains the link of where to go get it. Uh, if not, just Google Battletech Advance 3062. This is the way to play it, that or Rogue Tech, or whichever you wish. Actually, the way to play it is just to play it, because we won't be getting a second one. Gee, thanks, Paradox. I wonder how many more games we'll get out of the Clausewitz engine breaking down and melting. And I'm saying this as someone who actually enjoys Hearts of Iron and Victoria. And Crusader Kings, for that matter. However, all of those games need to be modded to shit to make them actually pleasant. Because... It seems like Paradox doesn't finish things, really. They just make them. It's up to the mods to make it work. However, this game, even in its basic, basic form, is a very good campaign. It fits really well in with the setting. As well, other old HBS games are older, I should say. Uh, Shadowrun and Shadowrun Dragonfall and Hong Kong, all very enjoyable. Very enjoyable, and I think do capture quite a bit of Shadowrun. Certainly not all of it, but quite a bit. So let's remember where we were. I've gotten rid of some mechs, and I've fixed some others. And I built them out as best I could with the equipment I had. Um, I recycled some machines, and I've saved you from having uh, to watch me figure out what I got, what I don't, and where we're going. Because I didn't want you to watch me just sit there and nitpick and then work on the wrong machine and then be like, wait, I didn't mean to do that, and blah, 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 blah. My fuckery has been largely removed, so don't worry about that. Um, more fuckery instead has been substituted, which you will see. You will see much of it. All right, so the Atlas is in work. The Marauder I'm probably going to overhaul because I thought about it since we last worked on it. And I realized I don't like all this ER large laser stuff I did because it's probably just going to explode. So what instead I'm going to do is I'm going to hold on a moment. Oh, wrong button. Fuck. All right. It's control click to remove. There we go. So I got 20 tons to play with, and I'm going to put a Gauss rifle in here and then four medium lasers. And then I can strip out some of these heat sinks because they are superfluous. All right. Let's see. Medium laser, medium laser, medium laser medium laser and then I have uh, room for gauss rifle ammo and that should be enough 16 shots is more than enough and then I can beef up the armor a little bit actually a lot I can I can make this as tough as it is in the in the lore <laughs> there's always the lore accuracy and then tabletop accuracy a lot of people who play 40k know that stuff. Where you're like, well, in lore, a space marine could punch 100 people a turn. And you're like, right, but then you can't play the game, right? Okay, there we go. Confirm. That should be fine. Yeah, five days to fix that. Now, the Atlas is being remade into a sandpaper machine gun with a heavy gauss. And I should be able to get my guys out of the brain prison they're in. Ah, yes, the brain damage is complete. Excellent. Okay, good, 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 good. So, we have an archer, a avatar, a marauder, and an atlas. And this atlas has heavy gauss and MRM-40. And two heavy flamers, because, yes. So I can walk in close, beat their face off. This avatar, I also need to rebuild, because the binary lasers are a bit warm. In every which way. But I do have quite a bit of room left over, so let's go ahead and see what we got. I know I have multiple MRM-30s, which could be pretty rad if I use them correctly. Now, correctly, and me, don't exactly go hand in hand, because I've never been one on correctness. I'm pretty crap at most things, and it's okay to be crap at most things. 
A lot of people think you need to be really good at stuff in life, and that's that's not true. That has never been true. You don't have to be good at jack and shit in life at all. You really don't. All you have to do in life is outlast your problems. You can have problems on a temporary basis, but if you can survive your problems, you'll be all right. Dead ass serious. If you can survive your problems, you will be fine. All right, let's see. You know what? Four medium lasers, two MRM 30s, and then I can replace these with heavy flamers. I can get in close and just burn people. Which is really what spreading cheer is all about, isn't it? Okay, ER flamers, flamers. You know what? I'll do a flamer and a heavy flamer. A flamer and a heavy flamer. That way I can... Oh, no. Do not rotate. But what if I want to? What if, what if I want to? What if I want to rotate? What if I want to rotate? Why would you take away my rotational fun? Okay, so two MRM-30s is all right. It's not great, it's not terrible. I also have four medium lasers, which is pretty rad. Uh, so let's go ahead and put more MRM ammo in here. That's gonna help. Heat efficiency is okay, surprisingly. Uh, let's see. Not sure how we achieved that, but we did. So let's do two heavy flamers. Oh, that's not gonna fit. All right, let's do just flamer and flamer for point blank fun. So I have two MRM 30s and four medium lasers, which is okay. It's okay, but I got plenty of ammo, which is where it really matters. So I have this archer here as well, which has LRM 20s. I have plenty of artillery and I'm doing the best I can with parts I've got. Which is really what you do in Battletech. You're you're not always going to have the best of everything. You're just going to... Ooh, Thunderbolt 15s. Yes, please. Thunderbolts are cool. Another AC-20 from Kaliyama. Yes, please. Uh, I see that long Tom cannon. I do see him. I'm going to buy this half ton of SRM ammo. Uh, heavy Gauss ammo because I don't have much. Rag 5 ammo because it goes away quick. Uh, let's see. Ammo MRM. Yes, please. Let's do that. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Long Tom Shape Charge. Yes. Ammo Arrow 4. Yes. Ammo Thumper. Yes. Haven't seen an ammo f or an Arrow 4 launcher yet. Yet. That's not to say they're isn't any i just i just need to go find it which means it's probably contained uh in somebody else's stuff which is fine because i happen to know a way of finding it it's called artillery so i'm gonna wait until the avatar is rebuilt because i've got a pretty good build on that avatar but it is an omni mech i can swap it around i can make it do whatever i want which is ideal all my people are doing okay so let's connect to Comstar. Let's see, ambush convoy, that's not gonna happen. A battle, ooh, oh, uh-huh. All right, let's see. Uh, that's an ambush convoy. That's a duo duel, duo duel, all right. Uh-huh, can only bring two. Uh, that's an interesting approach. That's a battle. You know what? A duo duel, but the salvage isn't gonna be that good. That's the only reason why I don't do it. Okay, let's see. Uh, signature of an active patrol. Okay, let's go do that. Let's go do that for uh, the memes. Need to bring my atlas so I can scout them. I know the Steiner Scout Squad is more a meme than reality. It's okay. I don't believe everything. Some things are exaggerations, and that is quite fine. War has that as well. War has that as well. If you doubt it, go look up the Knights of the Sky in World War I. You'll find all sorts of tales of intrepid daring do, of bold people doing crazy things. And then you realize history is a series of stories, some of which contain facts but not all of them. 
And that's fine. Not everything is going to be perfect. There will be attempts. I've got my coffee. Hope you guys have got something delicious and or tolerable. If your mech is considered invalid, you can hit the confirm button to throw the pilot out. <laughs> yeah. I love building really bad builds, but I'm only building with what equipment I have on hand. Uh, I know there's going to be a lot of people who recommend optimal build-outs, loadouts, and equipment, which, that's fine. I don't have those things. Um, this isn't MechWarrior Online, you know. You don't just have piles of infinite equipment. Okay, so they're all right here, right in front of me. There is, in front of me, a Victor, a Mackie, a Longbow, and an Awesome. And it's a 9M, so that's an advanced Awesome. This is, this is literally a point-blank ambush, which if they go first, I'm in fucking trouble. But they have all their backs turned to me. So Hunchback Fire. This is horrifying. It's just, they're all turned back to me. It feels like their AI is off or something, but I don't care. Uh, you know what? I'm going to see if I can't core that longbow with the enforcer. This is scary. Oh shit, they're shooting the long tom and they have another lance up here. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Hey, Archer, would you mind uh, killing one of these people? Let's see, what do we have chances? You know what? Let's shoot you. Got partial pen in the corner. That Mackie is interesting. I will not be taking it as loot. I will be taking it instead as pity. Wow, he's actually got a good mix of weapons. Oh, reinforcements? You don't say. The lasers just didn't come out of nowhere? What? That's crazy. All right, let's see. Longbow. Yeah, let's try to let's try to core this longbow. It says they have eight evasion. And they must have just been pausing right there after moving real, real fast. Engine crits, excellent. Hopefully I can fuck up their cooling. Please melt when you fire. Okay, they get three... Three units are going to take a turn than the rest of my guys. Awesome 9M coming around. I'd love to take that home. One, two, three. Streak SRMs, probably. Yeah, for now. Wait till he wades in and shows you the battle fist. All right, what do we got here? We got an assault mag group here, and then plus the reinforcements. Ah, excellent. Here comes the longbow to hurt my feelings. Oh, I'm going to run that enforcer up there and just beat the brakes off them. I'm also going to hope to blap some of these guys. All right, turn that victor around. I know you want to. I know you want to. I know you want to. Come on, bring it to me. Oh shit, point blank gauss. That's not good. That 4P is gonna have to wade in and do what hunchbacks do best. All right, Atlas, you started all the way over here for some reason, that's fine. All right, let's see. Ooh, that's a good shot, but that's a better one. You know what, yeah, let's fire. MRM-40 and a heavy Gauss, plus a lot of armor, goes a long way. Gauss rifle destroyed, and he is disarmed. But, um, tsh, see, there's my joke of the day. Did my part. All right, uh, artillery. You have been direct fired upon, so you must now direct fire back. Uh, shoot Mackie. Heavy rifle, heavy rifle, chem lasers, and a PPC. All right, let's drop it on him. Fire again. Ooh. Yes, yes, yes. Some of you are taking some armor. Yes, it's artillery. It flies everywhere. That Victor has a very high panic level because artillery. 
as one should. It's artillery. All right, let's try to hit that Mackie one more time. Oh, that's straight up. Oh, hell yes. Oh, yeah. Fall down. Fall down. All right. Come on, bring it. What do you got? Because I splashed myself with a little bit already, including... Oh, crap. All right, they have a quad mag back there. Interesting. Holy crap. That is a lot of fucking missiles and or rockets. All right, a missile quad mech. Interesting. Now, I've seen one that is literally like three RL-20s. Oh, man, hunchback down. Pilot hurt. Pilot's going to need to use some of that medical grade duct tape. Oh, and a blackjack. All right. Got it. This awesome, or sorry, this Atlas is going to wait in and pick fights with the awesome, and everyone else is going to do their best. Alrighty, let's run forward with the Enforcer and see if we can't double tap this Victor and blow its other arm off. Blap. No? Got more than enough armor to stand up. Speaking of stand up, get going. There you go. Hunchback pilot. Afraid of nothing. You may got brain damage, but at least you don't have brain damage. Blast. Yes. Make them leave. That Mackie is throwing hands and wants that long tom dead. Uh huh. All right, Archer. Oh, what a bad time to be in the Mackie. Goodbye, museum. Kim lasers. All the fun of lasers with some of the dangers of an autocannon. Ammunition explosions are a bitch, right? All right, Avatar. Let's see. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. All right. Longbow. There we go. Overheat alert. Let's turn the lasers off. Oh, and another ammunition explosion. As it turns out, if you're walking artillery, you have problems. Come on, bring that awesome forward. Oh, he's focusing on the archer, which is not dumb, because all it takes is one bonk in the wrong place, one errant spark, and those things turn into mushroom clouds. All right, they have another mech back here. I don't know what it is, but I'm going to start killing them. All right, Generalissimo, Solano Lopez, let's get in here. All right, Solano, kill. I'm gonna add the worst thing you can to an awesome, which is heat. All right, Blackjack, are you artillery proof? Well, that was a shot. All right, here we go. Structure exposed. Fire. Okay, Scorpion, MPA, huh? Why isn't he shooting? That's a good question. Why isn't he shooting? That blackjack coming up got the dual laser whammy, so that's actually an interesting blackjack. Let's see what we got here. Let's take a look. All right, Enforcer, let's walk on up and let's look at that blackjack. Binary laser, small laser, interesting. Interesting. Oh, he has three rocket launcher 20s and melee. Worst scorpion ever. And uh, yeah, let's shoot this guy. The Enforcer from Hell. All right, Hunchback. Two activations. Yeah, next round we're going to do some medical kit on you and hope you can find that medical grade duct tape. Let him have it. I love the awesome even though it's a barn door. 
it it is it is a big fucking target. But she does great. That archer is taking a pounding. All right, looks like I'm about to melt, and that's fine. Here we go. Do it. Engine crit, gyro crit. Yeah, I'd panic too if I had an inner sphere XL engine that just took a crit. I'd be like, uh, time to leave. All right, Avatar, let's see what we got. MRM 30s? Yes, I can. Goodbye, Blackjack. All right, what else you got? All right, that awesome is coming up. Oh, battle fist time. Holy shit. That looked more cool than it actually was. It looked like he was going to do this float in midair anime fight thing, but it was just the terrain difference. But still, that's that's a pretty good pretty good moment. So, he shot my guy in the arm. That didn't work so well. Oh, they're punching through the hunchback. It's okay. The pilot is going to get out the medical duct tape next time around, and they'll be okay. But one thing we need to do is just walk up and point blank this motherfucker. All right, mode, sh close range. There we go. Do I have any other kind of ammo? No, I don't. Let him have it. There we go. Get fucked. Three salvageable parts. That's coming home with me. All right. Time to make Scorpion go bye-bye. Scrambles no like. All right, there we go. Just keep nailing it with artillery. Bring me, bring me salvage. This guy's spotting for everyone, which I hate. So we're gonna go over here and uh, let's see, musket. We're gonna go into additional pilot abilities and use that medicine. There we go. First aid used. Enforcer forward. Let's kill this motherfucker. Enforcer's a solid mech, it's just not as sexy as other mechs. It's not a great looking mech, it's an okay looking mech. It doesn't look as cool as the Centurion. If you put a Centurion and an Enforcer side by side, people are gonna choose the Centurion. Why? It looks good. It looks really good. That's what it's about. People love their aesthetics. All right, let's move forward, Archer. Or Avatar, rather. Don't worry about it. I haven't forgotten who's who yet. All right, let's... Scorpion. There we go. Heaven help you if I get... If I get Inferno missiles for that thing, you're going to be in so much trouble. Archer still continuing to deliver its job, the fire support of gods. Here we go. Oh, the feels. Oh, good God. That is some heavy hit. Oh, wow. All right. So, Enforcer gone. Hit me hard, why don't you? Thank God I have artillery. I can start putting it back on him, but unless I get a direct hit, that's not going to end him. Because that's 90 tons with a lot of bang bang. And by a lot of bang bang, I mean, good God. All right. Yeah. Well, we don't know that yet. We're just guessing.
I'm going to strip some of the armor off whatever this is, so that the next time I line it up on them. All right, let's move into range here with the Atlas. And then let's kill this guy for being different. There we go. Let's use Precise Strike. Yes. Plus 34 heat. He's stressed. He's moving closer because he can scout. All right. 131 activations remaining. You're bleeding out, but not today. However, I'm going to continue applying medicine. All right, Archer, just stay there and keep pelting them. That's your job. Your job is to be one end of gravity's rainbow. All right, let's do this. Hi, Avatar. Let's use all of these. There you go. Stand on it. Yeah, that thing just won't fall down. That's a lot of fucking firepower. I wonder what they have back there. Oh, an emperor. Medium cannons, chemical PPCs, huh? All right, let's do it. Ain't seen one of these in a hot minute. Good old artillery. Indiscriminate and angry. Uh huh. Oh, there we go. One more of those right in the right spot. I say that plenty, but I do mean it. This thing is just scooting forward to go do some melee. I know it is. 130 activations remaining. Yet yeah, he's scooting toward my artillery to do the hurt on it. However, rear armor. Oh, we have another player. It's fine. The Atlas can take it. Watch me say that and it just gets headshot. Alright, let's hit this Emperor. Precise strike. Fire. Locking on. Gone and done. All right, let's try to finish this guy off. All right, none of those and none of these. And then fire. It seems to not care so much, so I'm going to move uh, the old Atlas here. There we go. Seems like I'm peeling armor off of every facing but the one that matters, which is fine. Come on, artillery. I'm hitting near it. That is a weird fucking scorpion, but I like it because it's not what you expect. You expect a mix of weird weapons on a turret and then it to come scuttling up like a crab on meth and then to give you the give you the pinch. But no, this is this has been a surprising one. Giant rain of rockets 
from the backfield. There we go. I'm just going to keep splashing Artie on that guy. 65 tons, so he's not going to stand up to Artie really exceptionally well. Where's this guy going? Oh, he, he wants to leave? All right. Not today. All right, he's bleeding out. Or she's bleeding out. Uh, there we go. Keep applying that med kit. All right. There we go. Engine crit. Yep, eject. I'm gonna tell everyone you drive a scorpion. They're like, please don't. Oh, I'm gonna tell them. I'm gonna tell your mom. I'm gonna tell your mom you have a scorpion. I'm gonna tell your mom. And they're like, please don't. I just, this is all we had left. And I'll be like, I'm gonna tell them. I'm gonna tell them they have a scorpion. Alright, I'm gonna wait until we can lock on to these a-holes. And then we can have the owie happen. Alright, where is their guy? Okay, 128 activations remaining. They're gonna be in the hospital a while. Alright, let's get going. Hundred and twenty seven activations remaining. Alright, let's get up here. And let's sensor lock this asshole. Nope, not within range. Alright, Archer. Are they within your sensor? No. Alright, Avatar. You ain't got that ability? Generalissimo. You definitely don't have that ability, but it doesn't matter. Ooh, an Ostwar. It's a mech. RL-40. That's where it came from. Okay. Alright, let's hit him. Man, that's a pretty big splash. Artillery's great. Hit him. Come on, one bonk. Ooh, good lord. All right. Uh, one activation's remaining. Guess what? Medical. Keep shooting that Flintstones chewable morphine in you. <laughs> yep, you just blew your wad. Now it's my turn. Hi, have you seen my weird avatar? Here we go. Yeah. You can make mechs whose only job is to make people fall down. It's quite fun. That's why big pods of rockets are great. Alright, do it. I almost lost that archer. I'm not going to be cocky and act like I wasn't going to. They opened it up pretty bad. Generalissimo. Good enough. One bonk. Let's see. One ping only. Oh, the, what a good hit. Come on.
Oh, that actually went internal. There we, there we go. One bunk. I got him. They're like, just the way I like missions to go. Simple. I'm like, you, you delivered us onto their doorstep. And they're like, just the way I like it. Simple as, as, is is Simple. Very simple. I'm like, uh, that wasn't simple at all. Well, it was when you delivered this to the front of their door. But anyways, thanks for the awesome. I'll take that. We dropped you right on the back step. And I'm like, why? Why did you do that? And they're like, no problem. And I'm like, that doesn't answer my why. Why did you do that? I'm going to drop you off in the war zone into the enemy's lap. God damn you, Darius. All right. Shit's broken. I, I figure you know that. You've seen me at work. Shit's broken. All right. What do we have next? Okay. The archer is not that broken. Uh, the, the 4P, I'm going to repair you. And you need to be refit, which means uh, time to radically rebuild it. Thumbs up. Replace, replace, replace. Oh. Ew. Ew. I can't, I can't replace all these things. Guess I gotta scrap you. I don't have special parts for you anymore, so... Don't worry. I'll bring another guy out of storage. Awesome. Yes. And a very fine one, too. Scorpion? No, I don't think so. Scrambles hate Scorpion. Hephaestus? I'm good. I I have an artillery mech. Dervish? You're great, but not for me. Catapults I'll keep. Axeman, rule of cool. Another avatar, sure why not. Archer I can always use more of. Orion? Eh, not really. I like the Orion historically in tabletop. It's never treated me well. The Victor's solid and the Mackie's a... Well, it's like having an old Corvette. It looks faster and cooler than it is, right? I said that, and some Corvette people are going to be very upset. All right, so I have a 9M Awesome, which I'm going to rebuild into something that I really like. So let's get in under the hood here and do what we do best. Strip equip. Now, I'm not going to put an XL engine in it at all for any reason, because it's an assault mech, and that's just asking for trouble. So where's my standard? Uh, oh, that's a 320 core? No, I don't think so. Let's put a 275 in there. I'm going to put ERPPC there, and I'm going to put an ERPPC there, and I'm going to put one more ERPPC there. Now, what do I do with the rest? Double heat sinks, right? Oh, needs that double heat sink kit put back in. That's fine. If I had some clanner heat sinks, I'd put those in there. But yeah, you just put the double heat sink kits in. Right there, right there, right there, right there, right there. Okay, now I'm sun, some ton short, which is fine, because I know what to do. Max armor. Now, I am four tons short on what I need. I could put a 285 engine in here. Nice. Still have more than enough room to do what I need. So, three ERPPCs, just realign them a little bit, not too terribly much. Then, I need to get into my internals and see what I can do to cool this off a little bit more. Engine cooling plus two, there. And I can put in, let's see, it says I can only have one. So, we'll put in engine cooling one, there. That ate up a little bit of tonnage. And then, uh, let's see, other equipment. What shall we put in, huh? Hmm, ECM is very sexy. Beagle probe is sexy. A periphery fire control system. That sounds uh, not so great. All right, so I have two one-ton slots here that I could put some fun stuff on. By fun stuff, I mean flamethrowers. 
Why would you carry a flamethrower attack? Some people will ask. Well, clanners, that's why. There, good enough. Two ER flamers for uh, people who run up and need the uh, drive-by hibachi effect. And let's go to a new planet, shall we? But first, let's go check the store. Because we've made some money. We have mobile long toms, which are great. Mobile long toms are fantastic. You gotta love those things. They do good work. Uh, long tom cannon. See any ammo I need. Oh, cluster ammo for the LB-10X. Yes. Always need that. All right. Let's go to a new place while our engineers figure out how to make this thing suck less. We're at Lancaster. Smolink? No. Uh, let's see. Oh, God. That would be seal clubbing. That's going to be rough. Okay. Mindru. No, Vorzel. No, bum 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 bum. Oh, Gibbs. Gibbs looks tough. Teterson. All right, let's travel there. It's twenty-five days. Let's get going. Power interlock. Uh, all right. All right. Yeah, leave it alone. Let's not fuck with the power systems. This thing is older than all of us combined. Don't touch it. Please, just don't. I have an idea. Don't. Everyone has that friend who says they can fix stuff that can't. And you know they can't because all this shit is broken. They live in a pile of nest and wires. It's all broken. And you're going, why are you doing this? Why in the fuck are you doing this? And they're like, oh, no, I just want to tinker with it. And then fire. They're always fucking with the internet in their house. Their wireless never works. All their computers are broken. They have piles of equipment. They're like, I'm a tinker. And what they mean is I start fires. I need a fire extinguisher. That's what they're saying. On a ship like this, you have one of those people. You're like, look, you got two choices. Hands in pocket or a face out airlock. One of the choices. Don't touch it. All right. Now we got this fixed. Oh, you always say so, but it is top-notch work. I can increase morale, but that sounds really dangerous. Uh, another 50 tons for a million and a half? Yeah, let's do that. Because we could... Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. We're going to increase that tonnage, but look at this. Ugh. We're going to do our best to actually increase the drop tonnage out the roof so we can bring in all of our heavy crap. We're almost, almost there. Yep, we're fine. And then people are like, do you get a raise? No. You can keep whatever you find. All right, looks like we need to upgrade the power system next, just because. And then after that, it'll be structure, and then we'll drive the drive system so we're a little faster, not a lot faster. I don't want to rush into a war zone. I'm going to let other people earn their victory first. <laughs> All right, let's visit the store. Teterson. Teterson. That sounds like, yeah. My name is John Teterson, you know. Sounds, sounds fun. So what do they got mech-wise? Uh, stuff. Ooh, the Razorback, which no one likes. There's going to be one person in the comments who goes, that is my favorite mech, and I have it in a tattoo on my face. I always run into that person. How dare you make fun of my favoritest thing in the world? And I'm like, I didn't know. And it's too late. You've made an enemy for life. You've made an enemy for life. SRM half, LRM half. You know what? I'm going to buy all this half ammo. Uh, cluster ammo, because yes. Ammo arrow four, because I never have enough. And, uh, you know what? Oh, an inferno. Yes. All right. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go down there and take a job and pay off some of our debts and all of the engineering work we just did. All right, battle, clean out the mercs, da da da, battle, defend base, duo duel, solo duel. What's the solo duel? All 
right. A battle. Oh. Hensians, eh? Intercept the Hanseatic League forces, eh? All right. No problem. We don't save you long, Tom, here. You better. All right. Avatar, Archer, Hunchback, Atlas. Uh, awesome. Yeah, I know. They, they need the expertise. And I'm going to put... Let's see. Pharaoh. You can drive that. You can drive Molossum. Awesome. 560 tons. Uh, I'm going to bring out another long tom. And can I put a fourth one? 700 tons is my limit. All right. 655. Could I take the Antos? No. All right. I'm right on the money. Barely. All right. What could I take that's a little lighter? You know what? I'll get rid of the Ad Atlas. I'll take you. And then I will take the Antos. Oh, yeah, there we go. Hot damn. All right, let's do this. Must be... Oh, fuck. You're right. What about it then? Eh? Eh? It's 690 tons. Nice. Nice. SRM carrier. That's going to replace the awesome. And if it dies, it dies. But if it succeeds, oh boy, missile plow. Boys and girls, uh, SRM carriers are missile plows. LRM carriers are long range missile plows. And in between, there are an ocean of squeegees you can use to remove and clean your maps of anything that is marked upon them. I'm going to artillery everything and I'm going to keep getting my drop tonnage through the roof until I can have a whole battery of long toms a whole bunch of hundred ton mechs I'm going to go down there like the Ayatollah of rock and roller I want my enemies to know what the meaning of heavy metal is I want my enemies to see my mech unit land and go let's just surrender it'll be cheaper Everything takes longer than you think. I don't know. Uh, if you eat at Shoney's, that poop is not going to be that long. It's going to be very quick. It's going to be like a slingshot. Some things go by in the flash of an eye. Oh, it's a dust storm, huh? Excellent. You're going to have to rely upon my visuals because the visuals of this map are not great. So I'm going to describe it. We are going through a giant swirling storm of dust to the point where it looks like almost a gas giant planet. Rocky surrounds some dirt, some dust, some other stuff. It seems like a fun time. All right, we're going to send that SRM carrier forward so that he can find his pals. Hunchback forward. This lady got her brain stapled back in with love. All right. Looks like we have out in the dust an unknown vehicle many hills away. Uh, not anywhere near in range. Uh, yeah, I see. It looks like a 50-ton vehicle. I have no idea what it is. Again, making anything out. Just kind of rocky, sandy stuff. Okay, we have a mech closing in from the west, and it is a 50-tonner. So it looks like they're trying to put me in that old L ambush there, but in between is literally the set of the movie Dune. So, good luck. Oh, they're shooting some missiles. That was a big explosion. That is an arrow four. I'm guessing. So we're going to move forward here with our machines. Because once you're under artillery fire, you have several choices. But sitting still is typically the worst of them. You don't want to be that guy. Okay, sensor lock. I'm going to try to lock on to the nearest unknown mag. And see what we got. It's a Centurion. It's a Centurion 9D. They have another 70 ton mech, an unknown mech, and an unknown mech in the background. I'm going to move my awesome up. 
which has certainly been de-engined from the 9M it started as, but it doesn't have the XL, and it also has a lot more armor, which is kind of important. Long Tom C Centurion, Long Tom Windup. It's a standard Centurion 9D, nothing too fancy. I'm gonna just start dropping artillery behind them and encourage them the same way they encouraged me with missile fire. You shoot missiles at me, I shoot artillery at you. This is called equivalent exchange. There you go. You have fucked around. Now you will find out. This is the balance of the world. All right, Centurion. There you go. Ooh. Oh, left arm destroyed on the Centurion. Excellent, excellent, excellent. See, you need a cheerleader like this in your life. Whoever they are, you need somebody who's that excited at being alive, even if you're about to die. You need somebody who's just, let's do this. It's gonna be okay. Even if it's not okay, you need this in your life, boys and girls. Okay, looks like that first mech that's coming from the north is going to be a hundred tonner. So, fuck me with a rake. Uh, another mech moving in that's a 60 tonner that has just sensor locked me. So this is going to be fun with a capital F. I'm going to move my SRM carrier Mark II up because even if this 100 ton mech blows me off the face of the earth, I'm going to put some holes in it first. That's what you do to the enemy. I'm also going to try to lock onto this other 60 ton mech. Let's see what it is. It's a dragon. Dragon's a good all-rounder. I don't hate it. I, I know a lot of people don't like Kirita mechs because a lot of them are just bleh or over-specialized, but the Dragon's a good mech. It's a good all-rounder. It can do most things okay. All right, let's move the Avatar up to the rock outcropping, and let's hurt this Dragon right here. It is very hot, so I'm not going to shoot everything, but I am going to let him have the MRMs. All right, that Dragon took a beating. Now, most of the dragons I find are a lot softer than they should be. They're kind of like a samurai sword. They're very flexible. They're very lethal. They have a wide variety of arrays of equipment. It, the dragon does anyways. Samurai swords are typically the same. But um, I'm going to get a comment. Not all samurai swords are the same text. Eight paragraphs. But the dragon is this multi-faceted, multi-mission mech that can do a lot of stuff except take a hit in the face, then that's where it blows up. But it typically has a lot of bang bang, and I've seen some very good dragons over the years. Okay, what do we got? An 80 ton? An 80 ton coming up shooting that large laser. Looks like I may need to telescope back because I've got a Centurion and a Dragon. I've got two other mechs to the west, which is a 60 and a 75, or a 65 tonner and a 75 tonner. And I have an 80 and a 100 coming at me with a vehicle. Artillery is going to need to play the balance here. The other vehicle is coming up is... What is it? Let's take a look. Very ineffective fire so far. A 75 ton vehicle firing a large laser. I'm thinking maybe a main battle tank. So let's hope this SRM carrier do, does its job. I may run to the west and screen door these guys and make the heavier stuff climb the hill to get to me so I can engage it piecemeal. Another arrow four looks like came down. Yeah, yeah, you did. All right, let's move the awesome up. All right, there we go. And let's let the artillery do its job. All right, Centurion, shoot. Oh, God, left torso destroyed, engine destroyed, it's down. Centurion is out for the count. All right, what do we got? That dragon I bet I could take out with the next artillery round, if they let me. Okay, where's it coming from? All right, it's coming from the north. It's that guy in the back. I think. I'm not sure. Not willing to wager on it. All right, dragon, let's hit him again. Oh. That dragon is stressed. I would be too. Getting the artillery is not fun. But if I can take out that dragon, I got this. The problem is their heavier crap back there is really, really heavy. 
got a 100 tonner and 80 tonner and some vehicles that range into the assault range almost. And I'm willing to bet that's a Chaparral or a Padilla in the back, which is going to be not fun to deal with. All right. Got to keep him away from my artillery. Let's blap this dragon. Knock down. Knock down on the dragon. He's going to fall. Oh, and crackle. All right. He is not dead, but he is panicked. Yeah, I'm going to run my mechs over the mountain. I'll move my artillery back here to this valley. And I'm just going to keep shooting. I'm going to run my mechs over, and I'll use the SRM carrier to be a nuisance. Another 80-ton vehicle moving up. All right, let's be brave, shall we? Hunchback 4P, stepping up, do what it does best. Finish them off. Oh, that's good hits. Dragon down. Okay, good job us. So far, so good. Maintain the violence of action. That's our job now. Hurt the enemy. Hurt their feelings. Call them names. Hey, Hanza, what's it feel like to be a periphery state? And they're like, technically, we're a deeper... You know what? That's mean. All right, where are we going? 65 ton, a 70 ton mech in the back here. And then you've got an 80 ton or 100 ton or 50 ton vehicle, an 80 ton vehicle, and over here's a 75 ton vehicle. Ow. Yeah, they're chipping away at my armor. This is going to hurt. Okay, Generalissimo. Let's get in there with the, uh, with the Marauder. All right, what do we got? They have an Archer 6PA. That's a pirate version. And then they've got a Crusader. All right, fucko. Let's burn them down. Let's do what we do. SRM Carrier. I'm going to run you forward, SRM Carrier. You're disposable and you know it. All right. It's an Atlas. It's a Charger. A pirate Charger, looks like. All right. You know what? I'm going to see how many SRM 6s I can put on this Atlas. He's gotten narked. Which means I can use artillery on these guys. Which I will. I'm going to drop rounds all over these dudes and hope I can cluster them together. Okay, there's the charger shooting. He's got a large laser, looks like. I'm not sure. But he's got a large laser. Alright, I'm going to move my mechs over. And let's see. That's not bad. All right. Medium lasers on. Can I finish this? Oh, that's too hot. That's a bit too hot. It's all right, though. Precise strike. Oh, yeah. There we go. Good enough. Let's finish that Crusader off if we can. Oh, those are good hits. If I can knock a hole in him, that's what counts. Go, go, go. Archer coming up. I wonder what you've got. Oh, he's shooting back. Oh, that's gonna hurt. That's a lot of fucking bang bang. Okay, that's like half my armor gone, but I resisted an injury. Yeah, no shit. You ain't got much left. What's on this thing? Because I kind of am impressed, to say the least. All right, let's take a look. Oh, it's all Gyrojet 15s. That's what did that. Okay, he's out of weapon. That was a one-trick pony. I am not a one-trick pony. Let's kill the Crusader. All right, that Crusader is almost down. His front armor looks like Swiss cheese. Nice big holes. All right, artillery from the backfield doing nothing. But I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to run over this hill, take these guys out, and make their heavy and assault elements climb the hill. Never make shit easy for the enemy. Make them work for it. Awesome fire. Structure exposed. Right arm destroyed. 
Yeah, he lost a lot of his equipment there, and the pilot's bleeding out, so he may punch out here soon, because he is fucked up. Let's keep swinging, boys. Ooh, that's some heavy owl. They're hitting the hunchback, but they're not knocking it down yet. Hunchback's made of tougher stuff. Alright, time for artillery to retort. Let's hit that atlas. Okay, that went long, but that's fine. Hit that atlas again. I'm stripping that atlas pretty good of, sh of everything. Come on. Bop him one more time. Let's see if we can knock him down. Atlas? Ooh! Alright, landed more near the Charger. Charger's missing about a third of its armor. Atlas about a third. I have no idea about the vehicle in the back. They're concentrating on the Hunchback. They're ignoring the SRM carrier. This is a catastrophic mistake on their part. Oh, they are bunching up again. Okay. You can do whatever you like, but guess what? The Hunchback is going to go over the hill. And he's going to focus right there on that Crusader. I'm leaving that Archer alone because he is almost weak. He is almost... I mean, he's got not a lot left. He's got two medium lasers. He has a one-trick pony. And you can do that with an Archer. You can make an Archer into a beautiful one-trick pony. All rocket launchers? You put all rocket launchers on an Archer and... Good God. You just flip a switch and destroy an assault mech. You got nothing left afterwards, so you have to have a game plan or a sword or something, which can also be badass. I've seen archers equipped for all sorts of fun things. Uh-oh. Ow. Yep. I know you are, and let's keep moving. Let's not make artillery's job easier. All right, let's peg this archer right here. All right, that was a good shot. He's also massively overheated because the uh, flamethrower uh, fuckery from the awesome. Uh, yeah, no, was that from the awesome or was that his own doing? Not sure because I remember shooting the crusader with the awesome. So I retract my statement of brave foolishness. Crusader is moving, but he is. Um... OK, he shot the avatar, which is pretty beat up. SRM carrier. Let's go ahead and move in. And uh, let's see. Heavy rifle carrier, uh, an Atlas, and a Charger. Let's shoot the Atlas again. Yep, I destroyed its AC-10, punched through into some of its armor. I see the other unknown vehicle behind it. They have a heavy rifle carrier, the Charger there, and another mech coming in. Unknown? Looks like it's got a laser, that's all I know. So let's see what they bring out. I wonder. It's an 80-tonner. Fuck. All right, so we're having some fun times. By fun times, I mean it's time to shit panned. All right, now they're starting to engage the SRM carrier, which is fine because it's doing its job. It is fighting three assault mechs and three very, no, two very heavy vehicles and one medium one. Which is fine, because it's allowing my mechs to maneuver. Alright, here we go. Let's destroy the Crusader. Not exactly optimal range for LRM-20, but it'll do. Enemy down indeed. Fall down. Get hurt. Get wrecked. Alright, this archer's coming forward. He's shooting again, but he's probably going to cook himself. Plus, he is boiling in this heat. All right, Avatar, this guy's been mean to you. Return the favor. Oh, hurt him so bad. Here comes that arrow four again. No, not the arrow four. LRM five or ten. I've given up on AMS, as you guys may have noticed. It, it's very okay. 
Okay, I've got all my mechs over the lip of the hill, so they can't get in and hurt my feelings as much. All right, I can't fire all three ER PPCs, but I can fire two of the three at this archer. Plus my extended range flamers. Which is great. I'm just going to cook this guy alive. He's like, oh no. And I'm like, oh yeah, that's what I get. Uh oh. Oh, heavy rifle carrier is shooting at the SRM carrier. Not doing a lot. And that's fine. My artillery will. Alright, artillery. Let's hit that atlas right there. Good hits. If I can destroy that heavy rifle carrier, looks like I did damage the pilot a bit. The Atlas is shooting. Oh, they got some rounds into the side of the hunchback. Yeah, those went internal. Still intact, though. Well, artillery. Now, fire. There we go. And let's see. Atlas is not down. But I... Oh, it is too. All right, Atlas is down. As is the heavy rifle carrier. Other long tom. Let's go ahead and put one into that charger and see what we can do to it. Oh, it is panicked. Excellent. Artillery is great. You can indiscriminately sandblast people off the face of the earth. They're shooting at the SRM carrier. They're starting to realize this guy's spotting for everything, and they're like, wait, that's cheating. All right, Hunchback, let's come over the hill so they can't hurt you anymore. And let's see what we can do about finishing off the archer. Ooh, what a hit. Structure exposed. My mech should be able to blow that guy away next turn. He won't be able to do much other than probably get a good shot on that hunchback and weaken it. Everything else is just going to shoot him up like Sonny Corleone in the phone booth scene. It's not going to be good. Oh, it is a chaparral. I called it right. Holy crap, he landed one on him still. All right, he's got this guy scouting for him. All right, Generalissimo. Would you like to step forward in front of your whole lance and show how cool you are? Yes, you would. Yes, you would. All right. Gauss rifle right into him. All four medium lasers into him. He's got a gyro crit. He's probably not going to have a good day. Ah, they are focusing on the SRM carrier. They do not like it anymore. And that's okay. Hot damn and your SRM carrier. Let's run this way. And let's destroy the chaparral, shall we? Oh, only a 44% chance, but the armor is weak. So let's see what we can do. Got him. Next time you guys ever down, take an SRM or LRM carrier. They don't weigh that much. They don't cost a lot, but they turn things into craters just fine. And if they die, it's not the end of the world. That charger is moving back. What do they got over here? It's another charger. It's a 1L. Interesting. All right. I'm going to use this archer to shoot that guy. Actually, Augustus main battle tank. He has one large laser left. Looks like he's lost two from artillery-ing. Accurate fire does a lot. Let's move the avatar forward. Not you. There you go. Finish the charger off, sir. The archer, I mean. Archer's toast? Well done, us. High five. You can all have name brand cola at the pizza party. By name brand, I mean store brand. That's a brand. Oh, they got the SRM carrier. Tragic, tragedy. Oh, I'm out of million C bills. Oh, the, oh, it hurts. It hurts inside so much. Anyways, awesome. Let's move on up. 
Yeah, that's the best you can do. The Archer, the, uh, <laughs> the awesome speed could be described as mosey, right? All right, let's drop Artie on what we guess they are. Get some crits, maybe. I doubt it. But let's move forward and drop more Artie on that tank. Just bleed the armor off it. Yeah. It looks like you are indeed barely scratched, but it's okay. That's what we do. Fire. Uh-huh. All right. Look at that. Owies. Yes? All right. He's moving forward because he needs to scout. I, however, do not. I'm going to move the hunchback just behind the lip of the hill here. And I'm going to sensor lock this guy. All right, what do we got next? I'm going to move you forward just behind the lip of the hill. I'm going to make you climb the hill to get to me. That is the objective here. I'm going to make you put on high heels and strut your stuff. Come on. I'm going to try to shoot the charger in the middle with artillery, because I'm sure I can kill him. All right, let's just sit here and cool off for a round, and then next turn I will pop up and shoot like a crazy bastard. Oh, one more mech. What do we got? 85 tons. Okay, that's not so great. I'll step the awesome out so I can start shooting these clowns. Let's shoot you. Artillery. Destroy him. Left leg destroyed. Actuator destroyed. Knocked down. And let's see what happens. And he lost his left arm. He's out. Artillery landing on the other charger. Let's hit him one more time. Medium laser destroyed. He is very much fucked up. All right, hunchback that is wounded. Step up. I want you to hurt somebody. You need to do it. It's for your own emotional well-being. Another vehicle further back looks like. All them lasers landed really well. Charger stepping back and trading shots with the 4P. I'm going to have the 4P fall back behind the hill and hope the enemy gets tunnel vision. All right, let's destroy this tank here. Almost. I'm moving the archer up, and I'm going to sensor lock the 85-ton mech and see what it is. It's a stalker, so that is where all my missiles have been coming from. That explains it. Stalkers are no joke. Destroy the Augustus. There we go. Now the artillery is going to go into the stalker and that charger, and then I can focus down that last vehicle if I can. The Stalker is no joke, but would be prime salvage. He's the laser one, but he's still got missiles. Ow. Yeah, I know. The Hunchback is taking a pounding, but that's its job. All right, the 9M Awesome is coming off the hill. I'm going to see if I can't line up all ERPPCs on this charger and finish him off. His center torso is fucked up, and he's not got a lot of armor left otherwise. Right arm destroyed, left large laser destroyed, 
left torso destroyed. Yeah, he just punched out. He's had enough. All right, artillery. Show that stalker who the real artillery is. Oh, yeah. Structure exposed. He's like, wait a second. Is that a long tom? And I'm like, yes. To whom it may concern, get out. That's a miss, but close enough. Artillery has a very big splash. One more round. Oh, that's a direct hit. He is really messed up. All right. Hunchback, we're going to fall back behind the hill so he can't hurt you anymore. And he will not like this. They have an LRM carrier. That's where the other half of the missiles were coming from. And that's fine, because we're going to focus on the Stalker first. His torso is opened up pretty bad. He has a heat sink destroyed now, so if he shoots back, he's going to melt. The Stalker typically runs hot. All right, let's hit you. Archer's getting in on this. This is an artillery duel. All right, Stalker is down. Stalker destroyed. I'd love to take that home for salvage, but I'm not going to get much. Okay, Avatar. Do your job. MRM 60, more or less. All the missiles. Got him. Mission accomplished. All for the cost of an SRM carrier. And hunchback repairs. But, I mean, if a whole hunchback comes back, that pilot was not in a fight. Let's be fucking honest. <laughs> if you have a hunchback pilot come back and he's like, not a scratch, you're like, no. Get back out there. It needs to come back with one arm, half a leg. The cockpit is just got saran wrap covering the view screen. There's blood all over it. Only some of it belongs to the pilot. You're like, what happened? And they're like, stuff. All right, so there's the pirate archer. There's some atlas parts. There's chaparral missile artillery if I want it. There's crusader parts. Uh, one stalker bit. Not enough to really make a whole one. So I'm going to take the atlas parts. A lot of engine bits. God, lots of engine bits. Good lord, that's a lot of engine parts. Uh, let's take that archer piece. There we go. Well, we got a lot of salvage. But on this high note, I suppose I'll end this episode before I embarrass myself further. Remember, the dice work for and against you. Never think you're clever when you were just merely fortunate. It's kind of the secret to all this thing. Stay humble or the world will humble you. At any rate, thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys for appreciating what I do. And more shit posts soon. This I promise. Oh, I bid farewell to my beautiful land. And as mustard in order before you I stand. To march off to war and to die if I must. And to fight like a bastard in this you must trust. As, as the years, years pass along you will see what it's worth. Bearing bodies and moving to another earth. I fear not the low bear what happens to me. Just as long as my Van Zandt is finally free. Just as long as old Van Zandt will remember me. Set a course to our neighbors or anywhere new. To a place where I can stand alongside the view. Of the bravest we have, though we are not the best. I'll wager we'll pass our most ultimate test As the mayhem will follow what we do today For all of our orders are morally gray I fear not the low bear what happens to me As long as my Tanzant is finally free For as long as old Tanzant will remember me
amount of ammo and finally fall And no more are left to hear that last bugle call They'll replace us with whatever they have left on hand And again we'll rise up to defend our land Though the Van Zandt militia is always at war Though we never quite know what we are fighting for I fear not the low pay or what happens to me As long as my Van Zandt is finally free For as long as old Van Zandt will remember me Brave causes to suffer your life And surely surrender to permanent strife But if you feel the call and are willing to sign You will find that you place your life down on that line Surrender is never a tactic we use For our cockpits are lacking an ejection fuse I fear not the low bear what happens to me as long as my Van Zandt is finally free, just as long as my homeland will remember me.